Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this real estate flyer inside of Photoshop. Right, so if you follow me from the beginning and um, to the end, you'll be able to get this done by yourself. Right, okay, so before I move ahead, if you've not gotten this smart designer premium asset, it's still very much available most of these files i used to design i get them from inside of this bundle so i've made it available for you to access right so without having to say much if you're not subscribed please kindly hit the subscribe button and um, let's get started with this so the first thing i need to do is click on file and click on new like this i'm just going to impute my name here and i mean my name the name of what i'm designing here right so it's a social media flyer it's a real estate flyer so i'm just going to leave it like that you can choose to change yours here and then resolution 300 inches please and um color mode rgb transparent background these are my settings all right these are my settings that i recommend so um i'm going to be using this color take note of this color code right and for the other color which is the background color it's just going to be white like this okay 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 so um i'm just going to select gradients and i'm going to under basic um this is basics select this first one please all right now when you do that a couple of things you want to change here before i change this i'll put this at radial all right you can see if i click inside the document i can move around but this is not what i want to achieve i'm just going to click on reverse this is what i want to use but I'm just going to scale it up a little bit, somewhere around 170. Yes, this is perfect. Right, this is where I want it to be. You can move, also move this around. Right, you can see the white is at the middle now. This is what I want. Everything check mark like this, and yes, you're good to go. Okay, now so you have this. The next thing I want to do is I'll go ahead and bring in the image. So I made available the resource file of this particular design so you can go ahead and use it it's in the link in the description of this video right great so um yeah i'm just gonna position it like this and um i think i'm okay with this size for now so let's go ahead and make some changes uh, click on this layer click on new layer and revert this color to white click on the brush select the brush and what you want to make sure you're selecting is this soft round um, the last one here soft round pressure opacity right make sure you turn off your cap locks so that you can see your brush like this and what you want to do is click 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 um, I clicked four times flow 100 past 100 I'm setting this to screen and yeah voila this is what you have okay so now that we have done that let's um, do the next thing go back to your rectangle to and I'm going to draw a rectangle like this um, just like this and we're not doing too much just like this right but the color is white double click on the thumbnail to bring out the color picker and select this color so you can select it from the body of the house uh, yes i'm going to be using this red so um again while you are here make sure you bring in the corners like this or if you don't get to do it there you can always come here and set it i'm setting this to 70. you can see how nicely this is done right great Okay, I think this rectangle, I need to expand it a little bit. So, Ctrl T to select the transform. Oh, to activate the transform, I meant. And uh, hold down Shift while you take this outside. And boom, take this up also, holding down Shift. Okay, click Enter when you're done. And you're left with this. Okay, so to make it more interesting, I have some friends here. I'm going to bring this inside here like this drag and drop like this and position this well here like this 
so what i want to do is change the blend mode immediately to overlay and uh, i'm going to reduce the opacity 50 50 does it the opacity and the fill 50 50 like this so immediately you do that um clip it inside of this rectangle right click and select uh, clip inside and this is what you have so you can choose to rotate it um great so what i did i made a duplicate copy of that shape and i'm changing the blend mode to hard mix right but i'm going to take it down here like this and this is where i'm going to have it right you can see the nice effect it's creating at the background here like this this is what i want to achieve okay so um let's move on so i'm just going to go over create a new layer you can see it's on top of every other thing i have so with this one i'm just going to type out uh, my text to type out the text for this particular flyer okay so um i have this typed out like this and i'm just going to you can group these layers if you want to it's better you actually do that right so you can group all of this and um for me i'm just going to move that down slightly and i'm going to bring in the next element which is this and i'm going to position it just here like this um i can bring this down like this somewhere around here is perfect fortune pack properties right so, okay so um back to this house i'll make it slightly bigger ctrl t then increase from the edges like this or hold down your alt key while you're um enlarging it so what you want to do is um sample this color here sample this color so it's the foreground color click on adjustment click on solid color right so this is the color we're using click on the mask and um select the brush and just clean like this i'm gonna repeat this ctrl z clean like this and gently 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 to create this nice effect like a vignette effect but it's not complete so the good thing about it is you can select any color of your choice here if you use a solid um, color adjustment uh, you can change things around this is one of the good things i like about photoshop right so i'm just going to settle with this color i have here which is um, looks like a red color so maybe somewhere around here and click ok this is what i would settle down with okay so we have the out of the way select a rectangle make sure you're on the top layer and create something like this yeah so um double click on the thumbnail and um select this color and um click ok so again rounded corners click here and bring it inside or you can do that manually the way i showed you before right so um click on text to and i'm just going to type what i need you can see i'm not typing on the rectangle right make sure you type out of it so i'm just going to type what i need here okay so i have my text so having done that i'll introduce my next element um go to my resource file and i'm just going to bring this right um 
it's like a premium badge so you can see top quality so it means that this estate or this property or what these people are actually selling is top quality right so i'm positioning it here and you can see how nice this is so what you can do is select the three layers and move them upward like this and um you have them somewhere here right so um redefining luxury in real estate i'm going to change the color of the text but before that i'm just going to do a quick color balance you can copy my settings the mid-tones i'm tilting towards yellows and reds right you can copy my settings is very important to make your flyers pop so for most of you that will come and ask me how do i make my flyer pop you've not been following me clearly because in all my videos i'll make sure i do that so there's no separate video for making your flyer pop and all of that if you want to know how to you can make your flyer pop please kindly go back to my previous videos and watch them right so this is before and after and of course for some persons that will come and ask me how do i create highlights like this in this flyer please i have made comprehensive videos on how you can create highlights and all of that please go back to my previous videos and also watch that too so let's move ahead right so um our flyer is almost done so what remains is to spice it up so i'm just going to select this yellow the yellow i started with before and i'm just going to create a new layer and um, i'm doing this on the new layer make sure you note this new layer and i'm um, changing the blend mode to screen i'm also going to do it here also and i'm going to change the blend mode um, this is too heavy so um i'm not reducing the opacity i'm just going to take it up slightly um move it move it move it move it yes i'm gonna move it here create another new layer and um i'm making this one small this time still working on yellow change the blend mode to screen and um position it here ctrl t hold down shift move these two sides and extend it downwards like this extend it upward like this to create this effect here move this to the side and create a new layer with the brush selected click once here and change blend mode to screen ctrl t hold down shift to bring this down like this and position it here like this hold down shift y extending from the side like this and you're good to go make sure it's in the middle like this and um ctrl j also like this and um, make a duplicate copy of it of those two layers okay so um place them here and there you go nice so instead of having um a rectangle that is like that it's just empty and everything these are some of the basic things that you can actually do to make some of your elements actually pop right just throwing some light it works every time the, just make sure you are not overdoing it so i'm going to bring up this red and i'm going to move to the darker region and this is what i'm going to use it for so create a new layer and once drag it here and once here right so simple i just created a vignette effects at the base here all right so this is before the color balance and this is after you can reduce it if you feel it's too much for you or increase it if you want more right 
so guys this brings me to the end of my tutorial if you love this video please don't end it without giving it a thumbs up and subscribing please thank you very much i love you guys